I've heard the experts say that the only constant is change, which I guess is true. From day to day, week to week, we're faced with such a wide array of situations and scenarios completely unique, born from the heat of our heartbeats, the words we speak, the paths we tread, the mountains we climb, and that extra something, that magical spice of life we all try so hard to define. All of this combined is what creates this life of mine, a one-of-a-kind experience, both mysterious and strange, where the only constant is change. Now, this recipe does not apply solely to me, because you see, we're all part of this human equation. We are the sum formulas and multiplications, but it's getting next to impossible to realize the complex connections between our real lives because our minds have become so mired in mass distractions. We're now caught in this maze of checks, balances, and fra <clears throat> fractions. We've been reduced to percentages and averages, but the disconnect is what scares me the most. We're no longer connected by our collective use of the sun and its heat or the air that we breathe that makes our chests heave. We've been reprogrammed to believe a wireless connection is what we need, but believe me, this will never match the connection that's made when you see me. See? So come with me on a magical journey and I'll show you what I mean. All you need is a heart that believes in the unseen and an imagination pure and clean. So if you're all interested in flying with me, clap once on the count of three. One, two, three. So you've now entered into a state of being where the essence of our connection is what you'll be seeing. Now please follow me. Can you see that? Way down below, we're flying through the sky if you didn't already know. So look down below, I'll show you something that's strange. A young lady who constantly resists the constant of change every day is the same. Fueled by cigarettes and a hot head, she always comes home in a rage. Instead of thanking the sun for its light, she lights up another and continues the fight she started last night with her lover. But as you can see from our perspective up above, there's no love found here, only anger and fear. So even from here, we can hear the sound of her heart heating at an unreasonable rate. Heating up with the fires of hate because she hates her job, she hates God, she even hates the man she's engaged to. It's odd, she's so disconnected, she sets aflame everything in her path. She forgot her role in the human equation and forgot to do the math. So when she cut off a driver on her way home, he took the power of her hateful heat to mistreat his girlfriend in the passenger seat. So later on when she was short, adding quarters at the store next door, she felt provoked by the vendor who wouldn't let it slide. So feeling the burning heat multiply inside, she looked him in the eye and told him to go to hell. So when the vendor got home, he felt a division within himself. So he insulted his daughter with each equation derailed. So when she wrote her test the next day, she failed. She couldn't handle the heat. The emotional firebomb that carries on and on. She was so caught up in his heat, she forgot to look both ways before crossing the street on her way home. So there she was caught between a red and that hothead we first met who's rushing home, too angry to watch the road or to realize that her blinding rage prevented this young girl from being saved. Now, everyone take a deep breath, release it slow. We've all been connected since the day we were born, a fragile connection caught in an emotional firestorm. It can happen so quickly, its effects are widespread and strange, so if this story reflects you, it might be time to give in to the constant of change. Now we must leave this scene collectively and return to reality, so clap once with me on the count of three. One, two, three.